you are welcome to Dave Tooth Academy. Today, we want to look at how we can solve a question on quadratic equation with the graph method. But before we go ahead, if you are yet to subscribe to the channel, click on the subscribe icon, click on the notification icon, and don't forget to share the video so that we can learn together. So we are giving y is equal to 2x squared plus x minus 10. And we are to complete this table for the values of x between minus 5 and 4 inclusive. Now that table is given to us. Um, now what I will advocate for is that you need to work smartly. You don't, need, you don't need to stress yourself just giving yourself a whole of headache. Like saying you want to be substituting each value of x. Like when x is minus 5, then y will be 2 into minus 5 square plus minus 5 minus 10. And then you want to expand that bracket. And after expanding the bracket, you also go on to the next value, then take a 6. Now you have gotten this is, um, now y will be 35. Then you also want to go to when x is minus 4. You also want to say y will be 2 into minus 4 square plus now the, the tendency for this is that you, you you get bored easily and you lose concentration and you miss it i'm going to provide a, a smart way to work around this with your calculator for those of you using the functional scientific calculator you can always input your equation which is one of the methods i'm going to show so first method is that now define your equation when you press alpha and the second bracket to get x. So we want to put in this equation 2x square plus alpha x yeah, minus 10. This is the equation we are given. And now what you want to do is you want to solve. You want to solve by this. You want to calculate. And now when you said calculate, it's asking for the value of y. And we put in minus 5. And when you press equal to the value is out 35, just as we got the other time. Now, as, as simple as this is, you can also use it for each of the values of x. Now, when x is minus 4, your value is 18, and you do it continuously down to when you get 4. So, you can just input your value and say, okay, now, this is 2 into 16, and then you have 18, but I will, I will advise personally that you just solve out your equation in the smart way using your calculator and then at worst, just write out the first line of an equation and the next line, you input your value. Now, when x is minus 3 equal to your y is 5 as seen in the figure that was given to us before. When x is minus 2, the value is minus 4. So yes, minus 4. And you are good to go, as simple as that. And then you can do that for the whole of the other values. But now, I, I, I want to use another method. There is a table in your calculator. When you press the mode, now here in my calculator, 7 is for table. So when I press 7, it's asking me for the function of x. My function of x is y. Because y is what I'm trying to solve for. It's a function of x, which is 2x squared plus x minus 10. Interestingly, I can also put in another function. So the calculator is also asking me, do I want another function g of x? Now, if you look at this question, um, in our question c number 2, we are given that 2x squared plus x minus 10 equals to 2x. The left hand side, you will see, is equal to y. So here is as if we are saying y equal to y is equal to 2x. So the second function is actually 2x and knowing this so right from the time i'm starting my calculation on the graph i can input the two functions so gx i will call 2x and then i'll go ahead to generate my table i want to start from minus 5 so i press minus 5 i want to end at 4 so 4 and the step the increment is 1 because minus 5 to minus 4 is 1 and on like that. And now, voila, once I press my equal to, my table is out for me. Now, x is showing the values that I'm inputting. Function of x is 2x squared plus x minus 10, and g of x is 2x. 
And easily with this, I can I've generate table. I can confirm with the values that already have been given to me in the table from the question. But I will just input my values once I see that the, the tally and I'm good to go. So I have 35, 18, 5, which is correct as given. And when x is minus 2, my y is minus 4. Minus four. So now you can see when it's minus one, it is minus nine. When x is zero, it is minus ten. When x is two, when x is one, y is minus seven, and all my values are already gotten for me. So um, using your calculator can really help you to work smart so that you don't even miss any value. You get all your values and you are good to go. So now the first question on the graph is done and dusted. Then we want to go to our graph paper. And now we've been told the scale to use. We have used scales of 2 cm to 1 unit on the x axis and 2 cm to 5 units on the y axis. And we have to draw the graph of y for the range of values minus 5 to 4. Now, I'm um, on the graph paper, the graph paper is divided into squares. Um, and now each square, each of the squares is going to take some unit. Um, I've looked at the graph and cited where my center line should be so that it will be, it will be quite um, valuable to see on the graph. So now I've noticed that my center coordinate should be towards the base of, of the graph so that I will have space up and then I can label 2 cm to 1 unit on the S as is. That's why I have grade, a, a variation, a gradation of 1. But on the Y as is, 5 cm to 2, uh, 2 cm to 5 units. So I have gradations of 5 on the Y as is. Now, having done that, I want to look at each corresponding values of X and Y. When X is minus 5, Y is 35. So, um, at that point, I want to use the cross, yes. So, x is minus 5, y is 35. When x is minus 4, y is 18. I have 15, 16, 17, 18. 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay. And then, when x is minus 3, y is 5. When x is minus 2, y is minus 4, minus 4, just before minus 5. When x is minus 1, y is minus 9, 0 and minus 10, 1 and 7, 1 and minus 7, 2 and 0, 3 and 11, 4 and 26. All right. Now, having done this, I need to join all my lines together. Now, um, if I'm doing this in the real life, I will use a French curve, or um, sometimes I use a broomstick. Yes, I remember those days. I used to use broomstick and you get your perfect curve. But now, I'm limited by my digital border. I, I will do my best to make sure I get a line of best fits. That is not it. I'm speeding up the video to, to show. Wow. <laughs> no. Uh, no. No, 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 that's worse. Okay. Okay, that's fair. All right, all right. Ah. This is not easy, actually. Using your free hand. No, 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 no. All right, all right. This is better. So, yeah, joining the, 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 the points, I've gotten the graph of y, y equals to 2s square plus x minus 10. That is the graph as requested for, for me to draw. And now, once I've gotten this, that question number b is also solved. But now we have to solve, use the graph to find the solution of 2s square plus x equals to 10. If we take 10 to the left hand side, it becomes minus 10 equal to 0. That means the point at which the graph 
is equal to zero, meaning that y is equal to zero. That's the point at which you solve for this. And normally, the language is that where the graph cuts the x axis, you know, where it cuts the x axis, y is actually zero. So, if you have to trace that here, let me use another ink. This is the first point, and this is the second point. On these two points, this, these two points are the solution to the equation 2x squared plus x minus 10. And from the graph, if you are very observant, and this solution, this solution amounts to x, x equals to, this will be minus 2.5, and then on the right hand side, it is 2. So that is the solution to the graph 2x squared plus x equal to 10. And now for the last question, question number C2. Question number C2. As I was noting initially, 2x squared plus x minus 10 equals to 2x is amounting that y is equal to 2x. And then... Okay, maybe we can draw our table to show the values of y for each value of x. Since we have another function here, we can draw our table. So, now, let me, let me bring in the table for y equals to 2x. y equals to 2x. I want to evaluate the values of y is 2x. Now, you remember when I was inputting my data into the calculator, I used g of x to be y. So you 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 could as well just you can as well just use your highs to multiply two x. That's quite easy. But sometimes the function may be quite um, a bit bogus. But then my calculator would have solved it out. So I will input all those values: minus ten, minus eight, minus six, minus four. Minus 2, 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. Because it's just multiplied by 2. So now, if I have to plot this graph also, y equals to 2s is actually a straight line graph. With, um, here, we are saying that there is no intercept. It's just y equals to 2x. But we are going to, we are going to use that. When x is minus 5, y is minus 10. Now I'm using black ink. When x is minus 4, y is minus 8. Okay, when x is minus 3, y is minus 6, when is minus 2, minus 4, okay, minus 1, minus 2, and correctly, no intercept 0 and 0, and then 1 and 2, 1 and 2, 2 and 4, 3 and 6, and 4 and 8. Okay. Now this is actually a straight line, so we can use a straight line. A ruler would be appropriate for this to join all the points together, and we can define that as y equals to two x. Now, now we've got in our y equals to two x, and then the solution that we're asked to find will be the point at which the line y equals to two x cuts y equals to 2x squared plus x minus 10. And that is being noted in our colored ink again. So, from the graph, um, the point which is the solution to the equation 2x squared plus x minus 10 equals to 2x will be um, x equals to minus 2 or x is equal to 2, 2.5. And that is as simple as it can be. You don't need to be intimidated with the graph questions. If you know what you're doing and you work smart, use your calculator as a tool to enhance your work. You can easily get your question without any hazard. So that's all we are going to be having today. Our advocacy is that the more you try out these questions, the better you are going to become. And until next time, God bless you.